Let's take a look at repairing the variable valve timing system and replace the solenoid or actuator on this 3.6 liter engine on a Dodge Charger. So you really don't need to, but I'm going to pull the, the air intake inlet out of the way. And so we can see on bank one, we can see the exhaust solenoid as well as the intake solenoid. Now bank two is on the driver's side of the vehicle and very similar. We have two actuators or solenoids there. But let's go ahead and replace the exhaust one. So I'm going to pinch the electrical connector here, squeeze it, get it out of my way. Now I'm going to take my quarter inch ratchet with a T25 Torx bit socket and remove the three bolts that hold this in place. It's pretty straightforward to access, easy to get at these. So once I get the three bolts out, I'm going to rock this back and forth a little bit and gently remove it. Now you can see it's simply a plunger. PCM is going to apply power and ground and control that to go in or out. And now that's going to depress on the button inside of here and allow the, the cam gear inside there to advance or retard. It's going to control oil in there, so you can see some of that oil moving inside on the, on the actuator. If we had to replace the phaser or the gear itself, we'd have to remove the timing cover and get in there and get at the timing chain itself. But we can take our new, new actuator and simply line it up here again, get it into place, install my three bolts, plug in my electrical connector, and just like that, we've replaced the cam solenoid on this 3.6 liter Chrysler product.